What's up YouTube? My name is Ty, financial professional. Welcome to my channel. Please like the video, please subscribe, and catch me every weekday after market close on the Swatter Gambling Show. So here is GCT, Giga Cloud Technology. This finishes at $48.01 today. That is up 205.99%. So this stock came out of nowhere today. So I did a little research on this stock. This just IPO'd yesterday. It is a Hong Kong fintech stock. And I really didn't find much more information than that. But this stock seems very similar to a few other stocks that have been squeezing lately. Specifically, HKD, AMTD, and MEGL. All of those stocks have squeezed recently. And they are all brand new Hong Kong fintech IPOs. So no company specific news to justify this price action today. But it does seem like this is part of the overall hong kong fintech ipo squeeze just a lot of momentum on social media right now apes in here squeezing the stock up this was number three today on stock twits over 13,000 mentions so today we're going to talk about it we're not going to do a full-on technical analysis because we really can't hear we only have two days of data this is a brand new stock so this is going to be me just giving my professional opinion on what's going to happen here so we have two indicators first indicator is the aftermarket action right now this is running up to 55 dollars in the aftermarket so if this aftermarket action holds, that would be a bullish indicator for Monday. That is suggesting that Monday, this stock will run to the upside as well. And then we have a gap up at 2120. So that's a bearish indicator that is telling us that the stock should come back down to 2120 to fill that gap. And that gap should fill in the short term. So once again, this stock appears to be very similar to the other Hong Kong fintech IPOs. And in all of those stocks, they ripped to the upside for a few days and ultimately came crashing down, which is generally what happens with IPOs, but those were IPOs on steroids. So nobody has a crystal ball, but I can make an educated guess on what's going to happen here. I'm not going to make a prediction on how high it's going to go, but this will probably continue to squeeze for another few trading sessions. And then like the other stocks, this will probably come crashing down very quickly back to 2120 and probably lower. So be very careful, guys. This is pretty much a game of hot potato at this point. Someone is going to get caught holding the bag. Make sure it's not you. So if you want to go along, not financial advice. Personally, I would not do that, and I would not recommend that. I think you missed your chance already. And while there is still more upside potential, it's just too risky for my liking. So if you want to go along, please do that at your own risk, and it would definitely have to be for a quick scale. Get in, get your money, get out. Make sure you set your sell orders and your stop losses. Don't get too greedy, guys. Secure the gains. And if for some reason you actually want to buy and hold the stock for the long term, you should probably wait until this pulls back down to 2120 to fill the gap. It'll probably even go lower than that. So I don't like the current entry of $48, but I can't support going long at $21.20. And if it pulls back, then you can just average down. Now, if you want to go short, not financial advice, looks like a pretty good play to me. You probably shouldn't go short just yet. Give it a couple of days because this does appear like there is more upside to go. It looks like it is still squeezing, but you should be able to get an excellent entry here on the short side. And again, this will come crashing down just a matter of when, not if. So again, this should eventually come back down to $21.20 to fill the gap there. And from the current price of $48, that would be over a 55% downside potential. So already massive downside potential here. And you should be able to get a way better entry if you're a little patient here and short this down in the next few trading sessions. As long as you're able to withstand the upside pressure, this should eventually come back down to 2120 to fill the gap. And that should be some pretty big downside gains here. So I can't support going short at the current price $48. It's already a really good entry on the short side. Although personally, I'd probably wait a few more trading sessions and try to catch this at the top. And again, I would cover at 2120 where the gap is for a relatively easy 55% downside gain, at least. So congratulations to everyone who made money in the stock today. Consider taking profits if you're up, not financial advice. And good luck to everyone currently in the stock and to everyone looking to take a position. This is GCT, Giga Cloud Technology. Thanks everyone for watching today. I appreciate you guys. Please like the video, please subscribe, and catch me every weekday after market close on the Swatter Gambling Show. You apes already know, diamond hands to the moon. I'm Ty. This is Smarter Gambling. See you guys on Monday. Have a great weekend, everybody. Peace out.